hi and uh, thanks for clicking this video i just wanted to share my thoughts about everything <sighs> even though there's so many thoughts that are still not kind of digested um at the moment because there's so much going on right now um in my own personal life and in um in this life in, that we're all sharing together um what i wanted to really focus on is like just keeping um encouraging you to keep your vibration high if possible and i'm saying this because you know it's something that i am struggling with um but i'm taking my time with myself you know i lost my dad in november and it's only july now so it's not been that much time and um I'm, I'm, I'm not ever gonna ever get over him obviously but um it's going to take time for me to come back into some kind of equilibrium because obviously the pain is coming in waves. You know, there's times when I'm dealing with it so ever so well. I'm like looking at myself and I'm like, wow, I think you're doing really well. And then there's other times when I'm just like, I can't cope with this. I can't deal with this. And it just really just hits you really hard. It, you know, I understand people who have been through losing someone very close to them. When they say that, I understand exactly what they mean now. I'm going through it. Um, which is why I created, um, you know, Coping With Grief series to just show you what I'm doing to help, that's helping me. Um, but like, even though I'm sharing that series with you, I'm still like having, um, like I said, the waves are still coming, you know. Sometimes it feels thick and fast and sometimes it's like out of nowhere it feels like. Um, but yeah, I have to say like um, my connection with my dad I feel is very strong still like he's making his pr presence very much um still felt but I know um at the same time coping with the change of him not transitioning and not being physically he has left me vulnerable um to phys you know not physical attacks um not physical attack you know psychic attack spiritual attack emotional attack um, and it is shocking because you do expect people to be a bit more tender with you, but um, unfortunately some people are not. Some people will choose. I'm not going to share every single story. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to share any stories actually, but yeah, some people seem to be choosing this time to pounce on me and think they can use and or control me or manipulate me. And I'm here to tell you Zynga ain't having none of it. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, the main point of this, of this video, I'm sorry I've been rambling, is that, you know, with everything that's happening globally in terms of um, just like wars everywhere and in social injustices and, and things like that, um, on top of if you may be grieving as well, or just ordinary, you know, you've not lost anybody very close to you recently, but you're still like just coping with that trauma of even if you're not there you're seeing it we've got social media now so you're seeing what somebody else is going through and you know if you, most people are very sensitive and you really take that to heart you feel that when you see those things um i just had a thought about that um i was in, in conversation with my um beautiful cousin victoria um and basically the conversation was kind of going towards this idea that you know, um, we both have this light mind and then there's a lot of us out there, you know, and this is what we were talking about, that there are so many people waking up to the power and the truth of who we really are, you know, we are spiritual beings having a human existence. So we was like, what can we do about this? And we discussed what a lot of people dis are discussing right now, which I'm not going to go into, but then, um, the only real solution to me right now, I mean, the real powerful solution, I'm saying those other things, you know, that we can do certain other things, but right now I feel like it's about this transmuting, um, number one, you know, it's um, the energies, 
it's about standing in our, our spiritual and emotional power right now you know word sound is power that's number one um and then you know visualizing what we want it's about calling on our angels and our other entities and guides and our higher self to completely change the situation and me personally and i know victoria and other people in my circle have we've shown they've proven to yourself that you can change the situation you know you know prayer is is, is powerful you know it's like miracle uh, miracles it's like magic like within a second sometimes most times these things change just by you uttering or even thinking how you want it to go the reason why i kind of went on this trailer for um was because i watched the video I'll, I'll link the guy's name um in here somewhere because i can't remember his name right now um but he was like saying saying that you know we've, we're feeding certain things into our subconscious and it gave me real food for thought and i've been mulling on it ever since sunday i've seen that video and i'm like you know what he's right because like my thing was you know before this all happened is that you know you know don't feed into the negativity you know like Saul Williams says don't um eat certain things and not it's not about what only you put in your mouth it's about what you keep looking at it's what what you keep listening to it's about the people you keep having around you you're absorbing that energy into you and then obviously that's all you're going to keep seeing because that's all you're going to keep on focusing on. It comes back in front of you. So like, so yeah, so I was like, you know what? The, oh, the easiest way for the elite or whoever is doing this social engineering, because that's one thing I'm quite, I've made up my mind about is social engineering. Um... <laughs> We are very easy to control. And when I say we, I mean every person in the masses. Be you black, white, Asian, LGBT, what, how do, like, whatever. From you a human being, you're very easy to manipulate if your vibration is low. And that's not on the um, macro scale, like as, as in um, the elite and then us, the people. It's in terms of even a relationship, just two people. If one person wants to control the other person, the easiest way for him to control her or her to control him is to lower her vibration, keep chipping away, keep show, showing them negative things, keep speaking negativity into life, keep telling them that it's a horrible life you're living and that you're useless and blah, blah. That person is going to be so easy to control. And I'm saying, right, like, because the video is getting long now and I hate long videos because they take ages to upload. Stop letting that happen because you know the next step is then they're going to bring someone in and then you're going to be like yeah 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 we'll do that because we can't cope anymore don't do it don't let them manipulate you like that it's a game to them and th i'm saying i'm speaking to certain people individuals if you don't know what i'm talking about this video ain't for you you know who i'm talking to i'm talking to you star seeds i'm talking to you crystal children i'm talking to you indigo children i'm talking to you awakened ones you it's your time now to shine you've got to transmute this you've got to share if it doesn't have to mean coming on here but i was just so touched to make this video but there are other things you do in your life just even keeping your own self balanced do you know what i mean like since my dad passed Right, and I'm saying this to myself too, I'm not beating up on you, but I'm just saying like since my dad passed, I've not done much yoga and I was doing yoga every single day in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Like I was just, just and I was really balanced and I'd really coped well with my dad passing, but obviously it kind of sinking in now and I haven't done yoga since like over October, it's July now and I'm just getting back into it and it's like I'm coming back to myself. So I'm just saying like, you know. Bob Marley said something once, and it's very poignant right now. You know, the wicked man there, they don't take one day off. You can't afford to take one day off. You can't. We need you right now. And I'm, like I said, I'm saying this to myself too. Like, whatever good you do, whatever tools you use to anchor down the light, yeah, for me, it's yoga and loads of other things that I do because I'm like, I need to be, like, just using different things. Like, I, I get bored just using one thing. So, like, I use yoga, I use colour healing, I use word sound um, and just loads and loads more, aromatherapy, blah, blah, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, whatever it is that keeps you happy, that keeps your vibration high, that keeps you floating, that just, 
you know that place that gets you in that place where nothing negative can't touch you you see it coming for you but that shit just bounces right back to sender you need to stay in that place because we need you we can beat this thing man trust me and it doesn't need violence anyway i need to cut the video now because it's gone over 10 minutes you know what i'm gonna say love you love you that's all you came here to do mm -hmm.